Hi there, and welcome to the first ever video of Dafty in the Garden. Now this video is probably not going to be for everyone. Actually, it's probably going to be for the select few people that are a bit like myself and like it to potter about the garden. Um, it might be for friends and family who actually just want an update on how my life has actually gone. But I'm going to be creating a little series here. On this first episode, I'm going to run through a couple of things I have already done in my own time before I even thought of even creating this video. So let's go through the garden and I'll show you what I've done so far. Now, as you can see, this is me out of the shed and this is where I spend most of my time. I like to store things in the shed. I'm mainly in this small area that you can see me in at the moment. Now, the thing you can see above my head here is a piece of wood that I put up to build a, a greenhouse as an extension to the shed. Um, I wanted to see if I could make a greenhouse out of recycled items, in particular plastic bottles. So right now I'm in the middle of collecting bottles like this. Let me run through some things that I've already grown this part of the year. So starting with this end here is, you could probably imagine, is some onions. Store bought and actually given by a friend. Where I was experimenting with trying to grow this for seed. Okay, all I did was cut off um, an onion in two, uh, well, two onions in two should I say, and just put them in the ground um, if you can see, you could probably still see the half of the onion at the bottom there. And that's just still growing. Next on the list here, as you can see from the label, kind of, my writing's atrocious, it's parsnips. Uh, they are quite new, they're still quite fresh. And they're in the process of growing. Now, as you can probably see from underneath here, uh, there's a few bits and bobs here, uh, a couple of pots and a couple of recycled pieces of plastic. Now, these are lettuce. I'm going to try a couple of experiments this time um, and keep you updated if um, they do work out well. Um, I've individually potted a few um, up here as well and I've grouped some, some together to see how well it goes. You can see that I've started growing cress here as well. It's not really turned out that well uh, so far, but you never know, it might actually change. Uh, more lettuce. I, I like my lettuce, I like to eat lettuce. Um, that's mainly a big part of my my growing thing this year, is I'm trying to do a lot of lettuce, and again, trying to do an experiment with clout tuning them together and see what happens. And this pot, I think, is a failed pot to be honest it was meant to be beetroot now these were planted these were planted the same time as these and they didn't seem to kind of pop up but it might be still late on in the time that it might go up or not but whatever happens i've got the soil and it can be used for something else maybe later on in the season or maybe next year okay uh, under this um makeshift in-house greenhouse I suppose uh, is my tomato plant. Now I've only grown one and I did grow or tried to grow more but they all failed on me um, and I'm kind of thinking this potentially is one as well just as a stem but I'm not 100% uh, so I'm going to see what that grows in. Now starting with the plants outside uh, the greenhouse is a, a strawberry plant. Now, I love strawberries. Uh, this is a store-bought one I got a few years ago and it's done pretty well. And some cuttings and things like that from it as well. Um, 
That takes me nice and smoothly to the next section of the garden. Now, the next section of the garden is where the cuttings have actually ended up through the years. Uh, this is the cuttings of the strawberries so far. Uh, I have three in here, uh, same as the other bed. It is done pretty well. I've actually done experiments in the past to see how well they grow or just don't grow based on the cuttings that I get. Basically talking talking to the plant and seeing if it does well or not. Um, I find these experiments quite fun. Now, what I'm going to show you now is something else I built in the garden just to kind of keep me raised up from the two dogs I have. Now, the, the dogs, I was more concerned about them peeing, pooing and getting into the vegetables and things that I actually like to eat because it could be potentially dangerous. So, I built this, what I'll call as a giant pot. Um, basically, it was made from an old fence that was out the front of the garden. Um, tore down the fence and started making this with it. Um, got a lot of spare wood. I don't like flinging things away. Uh, there's one of the dogs now. Um, Shadow, say hello. Yeah, it's a good boy. So, basically, that's what I've done. Um, now, in this part of the garden, I'm actually growing carrots. Now, the carrots are quite young. Um, here, they're here. Um, now, this is the first year I've actually grown so far successful carrots, seedlings, um, so far, as I say because I don't know if they're going to come through. And there's a lot of weeds in here that I'll still need to take care of, um, but I'm kind of kind of scared to take them out in case I disturb the actual seedlings themselves. Now below this, you've probably seen earlier on in the footage, is some pots. Now these pots consist of tortoise uh, or potatoes. Um, now, as you can see, there's one here that's kind of lagging a bit, and the stronger ones here as well. But I do grow continuous potatoes, mostly every year, um, from ranges of sizes, um, baby potatoes right up to the, the kind of bigger ones, um, and I get a good yield from them mostly. Uh, now this one here um, has taken a little bit of a lag this year, this is the other one, uh, a little bit kind of lagging on the scent, but it's still growing and it's still a lot more time of the year to grow. Now, that's most of the garden. And here I am got our raspberry bush. Now I bought this from the store a few years back and it was in a small pot. It was nearly dead and I decided to transplant it into this, put it in a kind of shaded part of the garden and it's grown quite well. I got a good yield from it most years and it's done really well. Uh, the winter I kind of cut it back and I it just basically grows uh, each year better and better yield each year so let's move on to another section of the garden and we'll start from the bottom hello shadow now at the bottom these are meant to be cabbages now the cabbages don't seem to be coming through at all um, now that could just be the fact that they failed, but if they do, that's fine. As I say, I like to grow for my own fun, and I could have grown a lot more. There's a lot more space in there, but I just want to see what would happen. Now, the other thing I'm actually growing for a lot of fun this year is pumpkins. Now, I have never grown a pumpkin ever in my life and I love the idea of growing my own and I heard they're quite hungry eaters and things like that and it's very thirsty and demanding so it'll be quite a challenge for me and I started growing this one and there's only one that's actually came up this year and that's that there so that is the pumpkin then the top one is meant to be peppers and pepper bushes but again they came from seeds and they don't seem to be coming through. Now the soil does look a bit dry today, but I can feel it is quite wet. It has been, um, I have watered it, 
but we'll see what happens there. Now you can see this is on top of a compost um, sieve here. Uh, I don't need this one because I've got a much larger one that I'm actually using at the moment. So a couple of things I want to run through with you right now is making my own compost. Now I love the challenge of making my own compost and I've got a few ways now I have a few ways that I've been doing this this year I have one this is basically an old uh, tumble dryer drum um, the other one I have is my actual compost heap now I made this this year as well um, from my old bed that I decided to, to destroy and make into this. Now there is one other way I absolutely love making compost and for the people who are a little bit squeamish and um, don't like um, insects and things like that, this may be the time to look away. Now that this is my compost bin. The compost bin is just a couple of buckets uh, put on top of each other. Um, now every time I'm here, little shadow likes to try and get a little worm if he can. But I do try and stop him most of the time. Now, in here is my compost. Now it is one year on, um, quite wet. Uh, compost. Now worms like it wet, uh, it's the way they can breathe. Um, the thing is it's an earthy smell, it's fantastic. Um, and I absolutely love composting this way and it's great for my plants as well. Really now, that is pretty much the tour of the garden and I have quite proud of what I've done so far. Some might say that I shouldn't be, some may say that I should, but to be honest, it's it's a challenge, and you've got to love a challenge. So, this staff day, I was going to start posting these out every couple of days, maybe once a week, with a wee update. And if anyone does come through and actually like to see updates or how things are going or any advice for me I'm more than welcome to actually listen and I'd love to hear your responses so Daft in the garden I'm going to sign off for now